Presenting UBC Digest. UBC Digest, the swingingest program on campus radio way back then. Of course, you had to be on campus to actually hear it. And anyway, it was for students only. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a program of and about UBC. For almost 50 years, they generated that typical university radio sound by begging and borrowing equipment from local radio stations. But they've broken out. Not only do they now have their own license to broadcast, but they're even threatening to build a much more powerful transmitter. So parents, hide your kids. Listen to this. Who do we think we are? <laughs> Become communists. Swear openly. Drop out of school. Hate your government. We're the only ones to trust. Come on, kids, and be like us. us, 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 us. CITR. Not a place where kids become like us, but like whatever they want. Like the vamp of the PTL show. Initials for politics liberties. Wild thing, I think you move me. Yeah, wild thing to move me, but I don't know where Bolero Lava is. They were supposed to show up for an interview. When her guests don't show, as often happens, she plays music and sharpens her image as a super groupie with local rock stars. Turn off your old Victrola. It's time to rock and roll with me, Paula. The radio set's got us. My show kicks butt. I like my eggs runny and I like my men hard, just like my music. <coughs> <coughs> okay, quite enough of Paula, I should think. The idea, of course, is to knock us out of our comfortable middle-class armchairs. How outrageous can you be? Well, I think it's, it's, it's not so much how outrageous we can be, but what is the public willing to tolerate? Well, that's almost the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> so Are you always testing what the public will tolerate? Um, well, I guess we could see what, what Nard wore the human serviette. That, that might be an example of how far we can take it. Meet Nardwar. He's just briefing his guests. Preparation is the key to good programming. Are you all set up? Yeah. What you're going to do now? What am I going to do? Well, it's, uh, it's time right now for the Nardwar and the Human Serviette Show on CITR, FM 102, Cable 102, Vancouver. And uh, it's a show, a variety show. Some people have called a stupid variety show. Nardwar! This is the Nardwar Show! You guys know you're on the air, you know that? You guys are on the air. The show hasn't begun yet. They always start early. They always start early. What we're doing is trying to emphasize creative radio, just the way uh, an art gallery would, would just show paintings what from an artist. And the, and the curator of an art gallery doesn't tell the painter what to paint. In the same way, we don't tell our programmers how to program their shows. That kind of freedom allows DJ Dean Paul Kennedy to play ex-wrestler Freddie Blassie's mind-bending record as often as he wants. I'm going to board a commission. Uh, uh, I just got to find the right cut here. Yeah, what kind of music would you say it is? Uh, he's a wrestler, a turned singer, like he's an uh, ultimate professional. Well, I'm warning all you geeks, and I ain't fun of CITR is fearless in spotlighting local talent like DOA groups which can be conveniently ignored by the big stations stuck in the top 40 groove. So, there you go. Yeah, I've done interviews on uh, you know, straight radio stations too, and they're all like real uptight. You, know, you, you gotta um, do everything uh, very much by the book, which is okay. You know, I can do that too. But, but. And this one doesn't. Well, they got their own book. Canadian college campuses are combusting with communist conspirators. Nowhere is this more obvious than right here at UBC, the University of Bolshevik Communism. The diatribe comes courtesy of a dangerous demagogue going by the name of Ron Reynolds, supposedly the son of Socred, John Reynolds. But what really burns me is that these Bolshevik bums are all rich kids. They don't come from proletarian Pravda-fed poverty. They come from money-made mansions on Marine Drive. It invariably is alliteration, like it's Marxist, Monoguan, Menace. These Soviet socialist suckling students are sowing the seeds for Soviet subversion of an entire society. What do I personally think of the yeah. idea? Um, is it dangerous? <laughs> Ron Reynolds would say that it's a waste of taxpayers' money. You know, 
They don't even play music here. It's noise. I mean, you ever hear Elvis Presley or the Beach Boys? Now that's music. Lawrence Welk, that's music, damn it. You think you can get up here on Redox in Moscow? Ron's read it wrong. Revenue rolls in from coerced collegiates collected through campus dues, about $60,000 each year. Good afternoon. It's 1 o'clock. I'm Stefan Ellis with CITR News. The money buys them a campus news service. The news is, however, shockingly conventional. And so is the main reporter. I take CITR a little more seriously than a few of my colleagues, especially people maybe in the news department. You obviously have talked to Nardwar, who is probably the opposite of me. I think we're both in it because we enjoy radio. I'm in it because I have an interest in broadcasting as general, whereas Nardwar may be just interested in having something to do between classes. Do you have any idea what you're going to do once you get out of university, you know, when you grow up? Well, my parents have an idea. My dad would like me to be an engineer. And yeah, what do you think about that? I'm going to try to be an engineer, but I don't think I'll be an engineer. Can I ask you a question which you're going to think is really a fuddy-duddy question? Certainly. What do your parents think? <laughs> my dad's a minister, and, uh, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> they're proud that I'm doing something I enjoy, but uh, they don't, I don't think they really know what's going on here, actually. They're going to find out. Oh, no! Well, they live in Alberta. Will this be showing in Alberta? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> we're not ready yet. We're nowhere near ready yet. Paula shouldn't worry about Alberta. CITR signal isn't that powerful. But the folks of Abbotsford should prepare for the worst. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good, good. I really wish I were you. They now have 49 watts. That will get them a few blocks. They now have an application before the CRTC to jump that to 1,200 watts. Then they will be a true menace. The person said it was not automotive mustard, it was carrots. Okay, we're going to move on to our next thing. What am I chewing? <laughs> My name is Blasting. Okay, people, how the hell are ya? The BBC World Report. World Report. Thanks for joining me on my program, Dad. Have a good day. Garbage! No. Garbage! Come on, kids, be like us.